Hello everyone, thank you for stopping by. Today, I'd like to talk about a new item in the Terraria 1.4 update, aka Journey's End, and that item is the Snapthorn. It's a weapon, but it's a new type of weapon, that weapon type being whips. What's unique about whips is that they are actually summoner weapons. As you can see, they deal summon damage, along with some other effects. This changes the way Summoner is played, as it gives Summoners an actual weapon that is boosted by Summoner armor other than their actual summons. The Snapthorn is a pre-hard mode whip, and the reason I'm talking about the Snapthorn in particular is because it is real easy to get right from the start. To obtain it, you'll need three key ingredients. 12 stingers, three vines, and three jungle spores. To obtain these, head on over to the jungle. You get the stingers from hornets and spiked jungle slimes, vines from man-eaters, and jungle spores from these glowing spores lying around the underground jungle. Once you have the materials gathered, you can craft the snapthorn at any anvil. It deals a base of 18 summon damage, has extremely weak knockback, deals 6 summon tag damage, more on that in a sec, focuses your summons on the struck enemy, and striking enemies provides a buff to attack speed. Interestingly, whips cannot land a critical hit. Even without a summon, it is a very decent pre-hard mode weapon, with a nice reach, good damage, and not too slow. Also, it doesn't mention this, but the Snapthorn also inflicts enemies with poison, a nice bit of passive damage. Here you can also see the buff to melee speed, which is activated on hit and lasts two seconds. Now, that summon tag damage it mentions? Well, basically it's like a debuff on the enemy that causes your summons to deal extra damage. See how my Finch deals 4 or 5 damage, and after using the Snapthorn, it deals significantly more. There is another pre-hard mode whip sold by the Zoologist called the Leather Whip, but you need to fill up a decent chunk of the Bestiary before she sells it, and for a decent chunk of change. Since you just need the materials for the Snapthorn, and the Snapthorn actually has better stats than the Leather Whip, I'd say the Snapthorn is the whip to go with before defeating the Wall of Flesh. Thanks for watching. Let me know if there's another item you'd like me to cover, and let me know how I can improve my videos, because I kind of just got started. Go ahead and that subscribe button for more, and come hang out on my stream. Linked in the description. See ya!